track time module allows employees to enter and track work times and have those times flow directly into the pay run to calculate pay for the period. When employees first log into Reckon Portal, they may not see the tile for their business's book. Ignore any invitations to take on a trial of Reckon 1 and click on the Shared With Me link at the top of the screen. And there you will see the tile for your book. Click on it. To open timesheets, go to the navigation bar to the left and click on Day to Day and Timesheets. Employees with limited permissions, like the uh, Record Work Times permission, can only enter and view timesheet information for themselves. Administrators will be able to see all employees. Click on Add to start entering timesheet information. By default, you will see the week view for the current week. The date of the first day of the week will appear in the week ending field, which you can change by clicking the arrows or selecting the calendar. To enter your times for today, click on the Day View link and change the date field to the relevant date. Click the Add button to open the timesheet form. In the time field, enter the number of hours worked. You can enter part hours. The colon between the numbers indicates that the entry is hours and minutes, so for three and a half hours, enter 3 colon 30. In the Pay Item field, select the pay item you have been instructed to use. It could be anything like ordinary, hourly, casual, or part-time, or something else. If you did not know your pay item name, leave it blank and make a note in the Notes field. In the Note field, enter any relevant note. When complete, click on Save. You will see another button has appeared. Submit. Once you are satisfied your entry is complete and correct, click on the Submit button to let your payroll officer know this entry is complete. You can enter hours quickly on the week view. Select the date for the beginning of the week and then click on the Add button to see the hours and minutes boxes open for each day of the week. Highlight the hours and minutes in the first day you want to record hours and add the time. You can press the tab button to move to the next field to add another time. You can select the pay item in the pay item field. If you need to add a note, you have more than one pay item on the day, you will need to switch to the day view. You will need to change the date field to the relevant date. Click the down arrow next to your time entry and click on the notes to open it. Enter your note and click on save. If you have more than one pay item on the day, like overtime hours, you need to click on Add to create a new line where you can select different pay item. When all your entries are complete on the week view, click on the checkbox to the left of each line and select the Submit button. Your payroll officer will know your entries are complete. If you discover an error after you submitted, you will need to change the status from Submitted back to Draft to make the change. This can be done either on the Day View or the Week View, so use which one is relevant. To change just one day entry, switch to Day View, select the date and click on the entry. Click on the Make Draft to Edit button, click on the entry and make your change. Click on Save and then on the Submit button. You can get a copy of your entries by clicking on the print link under the save and close button. Where you want to print notes made, you will need to use the day view. The print report will open in another tab where you can click on the print icon in the top right to print your report. You can return to the timesheets home screen by clicking on the timesheets in either the navigation bar to the left or on the crumb line at the top. You will see each day's and each pay item's entry on separate lines. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please see help.reckon.com or go to reckon.com forward slash support.